good afternoon students good afternoon people welcome to recorum talks and uh, today we have uh, some elite personality with us i was just talking to him and he has been into the industry uh, for like good 10 years and uh, let me tell you we have cs and it students today who are following us and the college the branches from uh, state institute of engineering and technology karnal haryana have been with us from last two days we have done uh, uh, e with ec we have done me with mechanical and yesterday it was with civil students and last but not the least today we have our ca students with us and they had lot of queries yesterday we were just on a call and everybody was so excited everybody was so excited to have you sir on board so we have mr chandan over here and i would like to welcome you sir on recorum talks today so sir tell me something about yourself that uh, how how you came up till here and how what what have been your uh, achievements throughout these 10 years uh thank you ma'am and welcome everybody and uh, really it's a pleasure for me to talk to a place persons where i have started my career i started my i mean after 12th i have completed 12th in delhi itself from kendra vidyalaya jnu and after that i have been in the field of engineering in the third year of mine i have got the internship in the samsung as an android developer when the android came in the industry in 2008 november so i have been working on their projects and later on i have worked with their uh, projects and got the patent in nearby mechanism and uh, i have found that we as a indian i need to recognized to be on the level where we have a contribution and some other countries are going to be recognize us so my potential and my work towards that only i should get recognition as a indian all over the platform and uh, later on i have been in the web technologies as an android trainer in the uh, uh, age of 23 i become an android trainer over there and worked over around 2 to 3 years and trained the ceos and trainees new learners and in 2013 onwards the market has enriched and i switched my field from the mobile ios to uh information security and cyber security later on i have and uh, worked two and a half years and a bos member and subject matter expert for the ajinkya dy patel university and uh, switched from that i have been in the past uh, uh, years with the data science and ai so it's in brief and uh, all about and previously i was working with the tata trust where we were uh, giving the aspect of the learnings in terms of the training of the students as well as the development in the different aspect of the different uh, level of the project such as gg square and where the learners can get the aspect of the implementation of their own idea with the support of the tatas this is all brief and uh, i am a phd scholar at last great sir great great to hear all of these all of these achieve achievements that is that is a lot that is a lot i must say 2008 android we we didn't know that to, uh, uh, in future near by future we would be holding smartphones in our hand because yeah. the, at that point of time and we did not even know that okay android would be coming up or something like this would be coming up and at yeah. that point, so you in 2008 you you already knew android language and everything no in 2008 i was uh, having my project which was okay. uh, purchased by samsung and in initial phone you have seen that samsung having the mechanism to send the sms later on they have embedded in their smartphone with the r algorithms but we i have decided to give in terms of not to any other organization i filed my patent and given the zone algorithms as in the current scenario everybody can see that okay wherever they are going in terms of the positioning the zones are automatically created these algorithm i have uh, dis designed in 2013 and the the same approach is and uh, embedded in terms of the ai self learning aspect that method so, sir, as as we were just discussing that you are an artificial intelligence and a data science expert so yesterday also my students had very very 
particular interest in this artificial interest because uh, artificial intelligence because this will never end it would it would get polished and get into a better version only so yeah. would you like to tell us that what exactly is artificial intelligence yeah as we are having the learners from the haryana and uh, delhi places so it would be comfortable with that uh, i would go with the both hindi and english parallelly i can understand that things because uh, i have been uh, learned over there so uh, in general if uh, i can take an example uh, of uh, alexa everybody is aware of the alexa and siri okay what alexa alexa turn on the light alexa turn on the music alexa do this thing alexa uh, play sad music play romantic music yes siri can you count 1 crore 1100 oh siri can do that but how what is there any algorithm which is written and always he is doing or she is doing we can say that considering siri is a female and alexa is a male he and she is doing each and everything by its own not like that initially the concern came in 1861 where i was not born and uh, i think my ancestor was not in that much <laughs> it period and all that so they have a question in my mind can machine think can machine think so the every scientist was from the us uk america uh, london and different uh, russia they have thought that machine can not think machine is not a human where is the approach is came by the scientist who has given a analogy which is not given in the, in context of the history of the artificial intelligence he has experimented on frogs first experiment was on the frogs how frogs can take the food how they are doing that और एक जनरल सी बात है फ्रॉक के सामने चार मक्खियां छोड़ दी गई वो मरी हुई थी और ए, एक मक्खी जिंदा थी फ्रॉक ने चारों को नहीं खाया लेकिन एक को खाया उसे कैसे पता चला कि वो खा सक उसे खाना है बाकी लोगों को नहीं बाकी में तो उसको मेहनत भी नहीं करनी पड़ती इसका एग्जाम्पल से ये कंसिडर किया हाउ दे लर्न हाउ दे थिंक्स हाउ दे सेंस सो द सेम अप्रोच कैन बी एम्बेडेड इन द मशीन and that is nothing but there is the approach in current state could be said to the computer or program that to mimic human intelligence through this and again problem solving in simple what we can say that ek machine jo aadmi ki tarah hamare copy kare jo hamare ko sochne ki tarah copy kare hamare problem solving approach ko copy kare अगर मुझे एक प्ले करना होगा म्यूजिक आई विल विल ओपन एप एंड प्ले द म्यूजिक एंड अटैच विद द ब्लूटूथ इट इज गोइंग टू वर्क दैट इज द सेम थिंग द मशीन हैज लर्न एंड सिमिलरली द वे दे आर ग्रोइंग इन टूडेज वर्ल्ड इन द कोविड सिचुएशन एवरीबडी इज अवेयर ऑफ दैट वी आर हैविंग द पेंडेमिक सिचुएशन बैंक इज वर्किंग ऑन द 25% ऑफ द रेशियो बट इवन यू मैम यू हैव यूजिंग द बैंक एप्लीकेशन यू आर गेटिंग द फीचर ऑफ आस्क किया ask alex ask uh, some other app name they are helping in terms of the chatbot this is the aspect of the ai they have indulged in this today's mode and world in terms of not a robot it's a bot that is all about in the current scenario of the ai and uh could not today in coming to uh, future uh, aspect everybody has tried to make exact copy of the human even we have been gone through the different movie i will tell you a interesting fact first robot came in uh, 2000 uh, onwards which uh, 2015 onwards which is uh, going to work as a human aspect a human facial aspect but in 1999 matrix movie came in the frame yes agree how means they are more intelligent than the scientists we can say that now the perception of thought processing is depends upon that how we are going to embed our knowledge and when we are taking that 
aspect of doing anything that will uh, throughout make your way that to how you are going to be achieve that target whether it's an ai in 1999 they have published the movie known as matrix and i will tell you one aspect there are three types of intelligence first is the narrow intelligence second one is a general intelligence and third one is a super intelligence and 1999 they have made the movie of matrix which is based on the super intelligence where the computers can think the computers can make the world and not even that india has also announced rajnikanth has given the movie name as uh, robot robot and later on later on it is announced in the second part there where the actual ai is working where the uh, how in individual are contributing towards the society how they are intact with the social things and with the mobiles and how this uh, ai is going to be embedded where uh, he can think only one thing in terms of the calling of application by a calling application he can call n number of programs parallelly those who are connected to the internet this is a, a, a thing and i mean in the other aspect there is a web series aware of the roadies where is raghur rahman is there takle se do the to unke bare mein to haryana mein to koi bhi jo jaanta hoga sir hum student generation mein everybody everybody knows about roadies yeah those that person has made a, a web series is known as aisha which is truly component india first web series on ai and i assure anybody of that is not seen that kindly visit that that how the ai it can be embedded he has designed the program not ever going anywhere else because we are indians we are uh, uh, basically works in the perspective of the three hours of a movie that ha ye karenge ye ho jayega now every aspect in terms of the technical is taught by that take the example of jarvis python program jarvis who can understand us who can do the programs for us this is the aspect of the ai in the current world this is how the ais are indulged in the different technology this is all about the ai in technically there are four aspects acting like a human problem solving approach and analyzing the things and work on the different algorithm to take get trained on the same algorithm and in the enhanced way this is what ai is and lots of examples are also available but see you you got, got a catch very nice that in 1990 we had that movie matrix uh mega ma'am i have not got your question i the it is just i i was trying to tell you that the catch was really nice that the uh, in fact the robots were developed in 2000s but the movie was developed the idea was developed already yeah so sir uh, yeah. if i talk about if i talk about uh, all these uh, in artificial intelligence that uh, as you already mentioned that you took us already in 90s and then you brought us to 2000s can you please explain us that how it uh, ai and data science was expected to be in 2010 and did it did it turn out the same way uh initially uh, china was really enthusiastically working in the ai they have proposed that they will design the human robot by 2010 later on they have increased that date by 2020 because we are not aware how to train that system at what level initially they have designed and they have later on got to know that it is acting in the different way and impacting on our program also so in 2010 they have designed the law that is a cognitive law which is told them what are the areas and when the areas the program is should be worked and it should be trained and uh, in 2010 i will tell you uh, the alexa has came 2010 i robot came might be you are not aware these are the aspect uh, came already but they were not fully published in 2010 they were expected the siri has to become but they were not able to embed in the mobiles 
even they have approached to different uh, operating system because uh, android is there and uh, ios is there in the current market initially blackberry was there blackberry has denied that and uh, right now they were detected in two, uh, they have not achieved in the 2010 and uh, the result they have extended the red line and the siri came in 2011 2011. Yeah, yeah, Shiri came in 2011. Uh, that uh, uh, when they have targeted something that impacted on the uh, market and impactful thing, which is not aware to uh, that uh, CEO of the Google. Everybody is now aware of that, that who is the CEO of the Google currently. That is Mr. Sundar Pichai. So uh, he has initially designed a search engine, which is Chrome search engine. Later on, Google CEO called him and uh, told him, design your own browser. So these are the aspects when Microsoft reached to the Bing browser. So these are the failure which happened in the 2010. And later on, it is conquered by the different organizations such as google I, I, iphone ios siri has came in the aspect and there are lots of projects as initially timeline at that level and later on it was collapsed because nobody is aware that how the machine is going to work and there is a training aspect what we do generally hum log ek chota example lete bacche ko kehte na a a likho a small kid a what is he is not aware about the A. He is aware about the line. I need to draw two lines and cut that line. Cut that. that is not perfect. Only he is aware of that one line this, one line this, that triangle. But I know I am not going to make the full triangle. I am not. I am going to bisect that triangle. Later on, he learns and design. As per that, he or she gets the idea how the machine and how human is learning. The mimicking the same thing was difficult. And the machine got confused initially that what is W and what is M if it is going to be turned. These are the failures they have. And later on, they have announced the system in terms of the Siri and Alexa and later on the project. Even there is a one uh, big news came in the uh, current market. There is a one picture which was sold in the crores. That is a digital picture which was enlarged and consists of the lots of pictures. In 2010, the world, uh, world has thought we will able to design the self-driving car, but that was failed. That came in 2015 onwards, which is given by the Google and Bancom is the company who has given that. And that is not working entirely in the all area that is working in the precise some area because they have designed for the location. And the why that project is failed, they have designed a vehicle to drive on the normal road. But person took the vehicle on highway, where machine got confused. He machine is aware that truck means we have to be slow. At that time, on highway, we are not able to slow down our speed because somebody is going to hit and go. And that's the project is going was failed. These are the learnings they have got and trained the machine again and got back on the frame. Okay. This is the aspect. So, in so uh, things we were just rolling down 2010 and many things came up and boomed, but few things failed also. Like uh, you just given an example of self-driven car. I yes, think I think this is in coming in new, near future. We would have it very soon. Uh, Ma'am, self-driving car is in, uh, present in the system, but not for everybody, but for the yeah. specific users. OK. And okay. that somebody has designed this car because he has found the story behind that is was so emotional that his father and mother was not able to drive the car in 60s. So he has thought that we can put in the terms of the self-driving car where they are going to suggest this is the path and there will be a sensor uh, like a, uh, but there is a sensor in terms of the lalbatti and it will sense entire geographical analysis and go in that way 
so, and sir, that is what is done by Vyom. Yeah, yeah. So, sir, what was as we just went through the 2010, that Siri came up and all these things came up. What was expected in 2015, like 10 years back, and what happened? Not 10 years back, I think five years back. No, uh, I can say that the they have uh, basically AI should be enhanced in terms of the machine automated uh, armory and uh, defense system enhancement whereas they have ex um, extremely failed and this is the research is going on they have designed the robots which are going to travel from here to different planet and get the work done initially that was not possible in 2015 onwards they have done and they were expecting at the same time because that there is lots of investment is done on the different projects but the results came after the long process some of the companies collapses some of the projects collapses some of the scientists collapses this is the aspects uh, which came in terms of the troubles and uh, there is a major failure which had uh, happened in 2015 major failures happened in the 2015 because you are aware of the 2008 market has collapsed so initially they were not having the funding at that time and the literacy in india we were not even three years back we were not aware of the ai at that much i tell you the uh, aspect initially i have designed the algorithm in 2013 uh, means uh, 2012 i can say that i was not aware that it is going to be work for the ai because i was not intellectual at that time level that is going to be work with the ai also there is a knowledge gap we were having in the current aspect, but it is filled by the 2018 onwards. And now everybody is aware that how the AI is going to work on. Okay, okay. So yes, you are right, actually. Uh, the uh, Yesterday only we were just speaking that awareness was not there. Yeah. Awareness Even, part was... Uh, in the today's curriculum if you are going to the colleges colleges are even not aware that there is a data science field now they are including in the curriculum also so when what we do when we as a, uh, a third person who is not in the part of the curriculum i can say that as i say if the learner is there that learner should decide his pathway from the second year or third years onwards as i have done in the third year itself that I am going in the mobile application. There is no need of the aspect of the criteria percentage. You need to focus on one aspect, one domain, and go ahead. There are n number of technologies is going to be changed, but the thought processes is going to be same. So this is the aspect which are different in 2015 onwards, and they have integrated in terms of uh, as expert. Talk, we can take the example awareness. This is the aspect. Yeah, actually, uh, earlier, I think in in uh, in education system, theory had a major role and practical was somewhere lacking behind. But then I think ra ra now now they have filled that gap. Uh, they are trying to. <laughs> students themselves are very active and uh, students themselves have their own passion for things now and they are not dependent and they go to the next level and do things i've seen students who are quite passionate uh, i will suggest one thing in terms of the aspect whenever you're going with any topic whenever you're going with any questions first what we do we read out we doesn't ask why i am going to read this why i'm going to read this if I have learned the C++, why I'm going to learn Java? language If I am aware of Hindi, then why need to learn English? First, the question why is going to come in the human brain now. Then they are going to be a growth mindset. Like AI. AI is a growth mindset. It's only asking the question how I can be improvised my way. Uh, the way of answering how I can work on it. That is the aspect it is maintained in the AI. And right now I can say that initial days when I was in the Delhi, uh, that aspect was not there. But today, as I uh, getting the opportunity to be connected with them, 
so there are are uh, many colleges which are working on and uh, there are many organizations such like you is working to be with them to support their career in the brighter way and uh, achieve a better goal and a digital person i can say that not a world digital person because everything is going to be digital so uh, sir we uh, every i think this student should not limit themselves that if i have learned c why to go for java i think because this lies in the basic and uh, this moves on always uh i can say that the uh, why to learn java it's not for that uh, questioning the things that what is the need of that thing if i am learning yes, the yes. java so i can expert uh, to be a android developer that is the yes. approach that should be came that should be there yes and when the why comes na then another question what is this the how it is going to work and how i need to learn these are the things that are going to be make more interactive and more uh, uh, intellectual to them and uh, eagerness towards the learning and getting the secured career will work for them and and technology never goes away it always get yeah. modernized it it today it something is in market and tomorrow it has got a version of it today it was java then it is something else then it is 2.0 2.0 and then it moves forward i think yeah ma'am and uh, i tell you one thing uh, technology changes technology but changes. but your problem solving approach is going to be enhanced in that way because you are working on the java they are saying that work on the kotlin if you are working on the python they are going to say that work on the different aspect in terms of the mobile application of the python so their approach are going to be enhanced and these hurdles to enhance them these are the challenges which comes in the life situation changes and the this is like a situation only technology is situation so sir we've seen how it was in 2010 and then how it moved forward in 2015 then uh, there was this time when the pandemic hit so how was this industry before the pandemic before corona uh, happened i must say 2019 yeah, yeah i will say that uh, in 2019 i would be not here i would be with them in the air college this is the aspect is changed yes <laughs> there you are there will be uh, the tpos who are going to give call somebody he is going to come to our earlier or three hours earlier he will sit and work on that where we are having the different platform and technology is the pandemic i uh, think on the aspect in some days the entire bookish thing converted into digital how efficient we are they have thought uh, there is a problem solving approach uh, we are not able to move to the colleges now me we are not able to move to the things this is the pandemic situation gives the aspect how we can work on and one thing you are aware of that we are having n number of medicines today for the covid 19 but how they got to know that which a area is going to be impacted by the this kind of a uh, take example of covid shield this shield is going to impact on this disease in india a covid shield is most impactful but how due to the different studies and different approaches which is helped by the data scientists terms of the analysis of the data terms of the analysis of the age group terms of the analysis of the uh, geographical uh, situations and how the india's is framed they have designed the medicines and work ai has enhanced its area in terms of medical in terms of uh, software we are having in terms of uh, exams in terms of even you are not a, even you are might be not aware of that there are uh, system which are having the n number of question bank n number of question when a student goes for exam what they do they schedule the exam for the learner and they are not aware of that who what are the questions are going to be come it is going to be done by the machine itself it is going to make the question of 50 students and plan it as per that now ai is reached in terms of the medical also in terms of the dietitian you type okay i need a this kind of a, uh, a client i am having this kind of a client and i am my weight is the uh, 
take an example of 80 kg and my height is 168 cm and they will suggest entirely your diet plan this is the aspect is enhanced after the pandemic before the pandemic the situation was uh, the we have restricted our innovation aspect and uh, digitalization was less and now digitalization is enhanced in india we can say that in india every college is having the smart class yes every even the smallest of smallest school is also running on smart class and having this online online schooling today so i think that was not possible uh, if we are going by the normal aspect before the pandemic uh, it was not maybe possible by for the five years but it was happened in the single year yes i agree so every having everything is having the consequences and as well as everything having the perception of uh, uh, utilization of the resources now current world we are having the enhanced opportunities also for the freshers i say that now they want young brain in the current scenario they want young brain i can assure you in 2025 in the uh, uh, organization ceo is going to be max qualified by a mtech me or mba max there will be no phd and those who are having that uh, because they want young brain they want innovative brain they can think before the things are going to become and analytical problems are going up there. this is the approach they have mentioned and i tell you that by the ratio our gdp has gone down our gdp has gone down but employment has increased because they have hired the freshers for the new projects also So uh, you, this you have mentioned that how it was in 2019 and it, it, if, if it, it would have been the time you would have been with us in the college and giving us a word, mm -hmm. not a virtual, but a completely a face to face, face to face webinar. You are absolutely yeah. right. You got it on point. So, sir, uh, what my next question is, what was expected uh, in 2020 when the pandemic already happened? the corona was there it was a lockdown and how it hit the industry i would not say rather that it uh, actually the it industry was hit it actually gained boom yes ma'am because <coughs> everything was online now ma'am are you aware uh, you uh, are you aware of the flipkart absolutely sir and i i can assure every learner is having the flipkart app Yes, but agreed. the difference before Flipkart, before the pandemic and before 2020, that was not generating the suggestion. It was generating if you have gone through a uh, a product of the oil, it is going to show you in terms of the new populars, that is the uh, sunflower oil, olive oil and all this thing. How it is going to become? There is going to be somebody is going to sit and do that for us? No. This is impacted on that. They are not able to work on the marketing, but how they can attract the persons by their suggestion feature. This is came from the AI. This is the aspect. Similarly, every uh, IT, IT, especially IT has converted their uh, offline platform to the online platform. For that, even they have hired somebody. They are not able to disturb the project which you are running already. So the after the pandemic, the boom has increased in terms of job opportunity and uh, in terms of uh, internship. You are able to see that now we are having another word internship in the current scenario, current market. Every organization is having the project and having the idea. OK, are you interested? Do this in terms of a project because they are getting the brains who are fresh and who can give them more time in that as per, a part of their company. So in that way, for the learners, for the education aspects, they have increased. And now the load is come on the learners also. They have not to go to the colleges. Online classes is working. Mm -hmm. So they are having the plenty of time to work on and uh, I, uh, uh, 
I only say that uh, there is a university who is uh, majorly focusing from third year onwards. Do your internship. Do your internship. Basic theory subject everybody is aware of, and theory subjects can be man maintained. But the internship, whatever they do now, they are able to get the opportunity in that basis only. Even they are paid off. This is the impact. Is only happened because they are not going to hire. They have refused the hiring aspect. They have used the internship aspect also. That where they are going to work for the new brains and uh, they will work uh, get the out better outcome. And uh, one industry has the in the actually in the banking banking IT sector has boomed really in terms of job opportunity because everything is going to be online. And they have to work in terms of the cloud. They have to work in terms of the auto auto bots. They have to work in terms of uh, fast transaction. They because the everything is going to be a digital. The workload on the server is going to be increased. So they have hired a number of persons, and they will are going to hire by 2025 also. There will be a lots of job opportunities in the AI and data science as comparison to and mobile as comparison to others. Okay, sir. So you mean to say that uh, in in 2020 and everything, uh, banking was in boom that time. Yeah, banking, IT. Bank banking, IT was definitely yeah. banking in terms of the IT, not in terms of the bank. In terms of banking, yes, yes, yes. Because, because everything went are, into cloud. Yeah, cloud and uh, the load maintenance and the flow of the customers. Because initially. Uh, I can take my example. I have been using the app only checking the balance. Okay, my salary has came. Okay, done. How much balance I have? I used to check in the, around uh, two times in a month. Now, what happened? Everything is correlated because we are doing the UPI transactions and all these things. The bank is related to connected to each and every different apps, and these apps are designed with the help of the different developers in terms of mobile developers and later on they are not in terms of the auto okay i am doing the transaction when my transaction is going to be complete update myself this is the app aspect whereas the ai has generated in terms of helping this customer if i am having the issue my transaction has failed nobody is going to sit and do the needful on that that is only done by a chatbot if anything which is not in there Territory that is going to refer to a assistant or agent. Agreed, 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 agreed. So, sir, uh, as you told us about the pandemic, and then if we are moving forward, uh, like we are recovering from this uh, pandemic now. Hmm. The wave, the second wave is going down, and uh, uh, Israel has already went mask free. America is on its way, and I think India would also be one day mask free. At least hope for the best. Because I am hoping really it should happen uh, within two or three days if, it, if there is anything we can do it in that. Yeah, the vaccination has started moving fast and they are trying to get everybody vaccinated as soon as possible. Yeah. So by the end of this year, I think I think this would end. We hope for best. Yes. So uh, how how would you 2021 will end moving forward to 2022, 23, 24? What is expected out of 2025? What would the world be like? Okay. Uh, anybody of us uh, or everybody of us is aware of that our major share is coming from the export in terms of the farming, farming items. So in 2025, by, by 2025, US and UK has designed their projects and India is working in the same way to work on AI agro. AI agro. So I am attached with the, some projects which is the AI agro and there are the certain uh, areas in terms of medicals also, in terms of the laser therapies also and sorry, in terms of the diagnosis, disease diagnosis, 
working on that because that will reduce the consumption of the money in terms of uh, getting that uh, uh, facilities and availability of the doctors and generation of the report and other things so in this medical agriculture sector this is going to be work on in the very higher way and there are lots of projects is going on there india ai is the uh, website you, anybody can go that and check it on that whereas we are having the india's ai project it is going to be uh, considered that there are researches there are four impactful researches by the indian universities is going on first is by the it roper that is a fake buster to make a videos and uh, it hyderabad risk uh, certification algorithm by covid for covid patient and iit madras is working on that by leverage language so these are the aspects which are working on and later on when this thing is going to be in more uh, enhanced way or we can say that the more uh, uh, another company name is kitabo uh, his uh, company name is hurix they uh, have thought in terms of the uh, ai based books which is under the, in terms of the idea i had a discussion with them in terms of the idea only they are going to be, if you are learning a book okay now we are having the app we will tell book read they are going to speak for us but what will happen if whatever the notes i am going to design they will design for us and um, this is a definition okay kindly copy and put it over there segregation of mail gmail is working on that so these are the uh, projects is by the 2025 and there are lots of opportunities and internships are going to given by the different organizations such as government of india i can say that as well as uh, different uh, uh, private sector companies these are uh, certain examples which is streamlined in the future so only i suggest learners to go on linkedin and get connected with them and uh, get the opportunity and in terms of the implementation aspect by 2025 we are going to see the offices by now onwards by w at uh, wfh expect because now the organization has realized we have not to invest on our infrastructure we have invest to on our network structure so they have worked on that there is a profile of the network engineers also are going to be in and means more and um, data science and ai is going to be a large 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 n times of the largest aspect and for that we have to be different technology equipped with us if you want i can put in that way so in ai the machine learning neuro learning neuro language comes in the frame cognitive language is there whereas uh, in technology we have to learn the python we have to go with the basic programming of the mathematics if you are uh, if you have learned that okay my 10th class i have done the mathematics that was from tablus okay no need to worry about it that skill you are able to going to use in this the current scenario in terms of the jds we can say that the data scientist engineer ai engineers ai architect and more on in All 2020 right, so, so uh, i believe uh, i we have done a good time travel with you where we understood how technology was invented and how how it went ahead and uh, developed and what is expected out of uh 2025 after the corona post pandemic so i believe now you can just enlighten us that how in artificial intelligence and data science has played its role in our lives uh we ha i have tried so they can get the knowledge what is the aspect and data ai is the training and data data science is a process where we having the approach in terms of the finding the proper way to get the data for the getting the machines trained properly that is only 
so uh, if you allow me uh, any other question so i can brief in terms of the ppt yes sir surely so uh, learners i have made a ppt what in terms of the pictorial which is going to give exposure what we have done till now and uh, what will be the aspect because when we see the things it is going to be give the greater picture so my screen is visible ma'am yeah my screen is visible yes sir so we have been with the first slide the ai with these are the timeline where the researchers are came alan turning was the first who are given the aspect of the ai these are the pioneers who have worked in the different centuries to give the aspect what is done and later on we are having this are the aspect which are developed in terms of the machine you can see the sizes are huge in initial phase later on it is came to like this where is the i robot is there like alexa machine initially they have designed the dog who can bark like a dog and pick the some items from that and in 2011 you are able to see that this is a shiri it's came this is a image net i pro project i have told you that which is consist of the lots of images together and that was sold in the digital art so here i was telling in terms of the narrow intelligence this is a google self drive car is a narrow intelligence and robot chippy was a movie that it was launched in 2001 and where this robot is going to behave like a human he is going to behave like a, a wrestler it is going to fight and learn the things which human does similarly super intelligence is the super computer which operates each and everything by its own in a matrix and these are the current netflix felix consists of the ai aspect shiri is there alexa is there flipkart is there pandora music is there and now by so i have done and i have showed that by 2025 it is going to be in what way and uh, how it is going to be in terms of the uh, agriculture because uh, i personally think that this area which in which we have to be work on and there are lots of scope in terms of making tools which is which is based on the ai which is uh, are going to be help the farmers also and uh, this is the us project they have told that it will reach by 2025 by them and uh, into india i personally working on uh, some of some means ex not exactly of this kind of a project but it's similar to this project for the nagpur and uh, we are targeting by 2023 we can launch it so this is from my side and any questions i am open to all that's great to hear sir that you have been working already in this domain and by 
i believe it would be in the market so nice to hear that sir sir apart from this is there anything anything that you want to uh, help us with because the today the audience we have is engineering students csit people so is there any technology is there any fundamental that you can tell them that can help them uh, because they would be uh, passing out in maybe next year or in two, two to three years of time because we have second year third year and fourth year students so is there anything that you want to tell them that uh, this would boom up this technology will help uh, yeah python and yeah if you want to make your safe career and not willing to work so much hard then go with the testing if you want to be a innovative and work on the new project and give contribution towards the uh, your ideas and get at the challenges work go with the python and go with the data science and ai and later on if we, you want the midway uh, passage go with the mobile technologies we are having the android and ios and android is going to be enriched each and each day where in terms of the salary you will get in terms uh, data scientists and ai more than the others so these so, are the three domains we can say that in the different levels student can choose and work on and one message for the students don't think what others are doing take your own path and do it and decide it from today is onward because when you are deciding everybody does after the fourth year don't wait for that in fourth year new technology is going to be come and if you are equipped with a certain technology it's easy to adapt that technology yes sir that is definitely very encouraging that don't wait and don't be a follower be the leader when you type my name on the website na on google itself chandan satyendra prasad you will get the quote line on that that is a innovation makes a follower into a leader which is given by me so i believe on that we are not here to discover every time we, but we can do the innovation every time yes sir um, as um, uh, necessity is the mother of invention right. till the time till the time uh, this pandemic was not there nobody was aware that uh, people can work from home also even though we are not having the smart class i told you within yes. the one year every ruler area is having the smart class in india which was not done by any government organization, organization. not government in the 20 decade two decades, three decades, four decades. It is done in the one year, single year, without a support of any other. Yes, do, totally. it, do it, do it. This, this one year has taught us a lot, a lot. Every industry, every industry got crippled and then stood up back. And the backbone has always been IT and CS. And they are more efficient, we can say that. Now they are having the two aspects. One is work from home, second is work from office. <laughs> they are able to design the two teams. Every every time, sir, every time. And, I uh, this is going to increase our opportunities in the industry also. Not going yes, to the sir. office, take the project and do it at your place. IT companies have have liked this concept so much that they have already for one year they are they are not in fact bothered about Corona. They have already given their uh, people their employees work from home for like good one year two year yes ma'am and in uh, recently my learner has joined ibm i trained her and uh, she got in ibm and she got an offer letter one year work from home directly totally sir totally because they, the companies are also saving a lot yeah infrastructure cost infrastructure cost and maintenance cost and a lot of thing goes and over here, uh, people can definitely, people are preferring work from home now. Yes, because they are able to spend more time with the family also. They are not work having the issue. Yes, work-life yeah. balance is there. So, uh, sir, thank Any, you so much. It was it Any, was like really, yeah. really good thank conversation. You it was really good piece of a conversation. I really enjoyed and you completely took us through the time and just took us there where nothing was there. 
we were still using those simple phones qwerty keypad phones and then this city and android came into picture yeah ma'am and uh, i hope everybody have enjoyed and uh, if there is any questions and any other things you can ask me i am open to that so we can go ahead in that else i am done from my side so all i don't think there are any questions till now because you've explained so well because you've explained so well there are no questions till now but still if there would be any i would definitely try to reach you out or connect you with people with all these students and uh, thank you so much sir for having you on board and it was a very enlightening conversation with you today i, I myself personally enjoyed and uh, my students would have also enjoyed and got enlightened with, with this thank you so much sir thank, thank you, you so much thank you ma'am thank, thank you. you bye bye everybody mention the category and a description for this skill you the quick submission them to recurrums candidate flow on the quick start page enter your name contact number and email id in the quick submission section you can upload your resume click the click to upload button and upload the so students we will have a break for a good 15 minutes and then we'll be back with mr paris and paris sir is an extremely talented and uh, tedx speaker so he would enlighten you with all his all his experiences and he would tell us that how he went on his journey and has achieved all this so please please be tuned in by 4:15 we would be starting the session by the, by then please go and have a break and be back soon thank you so much resume in a pdf format from linkedin and uploaded in a pdf format welcome to recurrums candidate flow on the quick start page enter your name contact number and email id in the quick submission section you can upload your resume click the click to upload button and upload the resume in a pdf format you can also download your resume from linkedin and upload it in a pdf format on the skill set section click the add skills button once you add the required skill sets select your expertise of that skill from the slider if your desired skill set isn't mentioned you can also contribute a skill for example enter a skill and select the option like to contribute here mention the category and a description for this skill you want to contribute once done click on submit here select your expertise for this particular skill once done, click on Continue with Profile. In the Address section, enter your address, zip code, city, state, country, and nationality. Here, enter your work experience and education details to proceed. You can double-check the information you have entered. You can upload your certifications in the Upload Certification section. If you have a link to your profile, add the URL in the Profile Link section. Once done, Click the Save and Continue button. The details you have provided will appear on the profile page, as shown here. Now, let's go to the event section, and book an event. Here, you will be able to find all past events, ongoing events, and upcoming events. This is a list of all recommended events. Some are virtual events while some are offline events. Let's select IT Summit 2020 and book this event. The total job opportunities, companies attending this event, and the skill bifurcation will be visible here. You can also find more details about this event on this page. You can also share the event on various platforms. Let's book this event now. When you click on book event, it will show you the type of ticket, your billing address, the promo code if you have applied, and the total cost to pay. Let's go ahead and join this event. Recurum will redirect to job opportunity page and picture in picture will open with the live stream of the event. You can expand the picture in picture view like this. There are two sections, recommended jobs and other jobs. Recommended jobs are pre-qualified jobs that are relevant to your skills. Other jobs are jobs that you are eligible to apply but not necessarily relevant to your skills. With the smart algorithms, Recurum matches the job's skill set with the candidate's skills and displays jobs in the recommended section. 
the jobs that don't target specific skills, will be shown in other jobs section. Candidates can filter the types of jobs, like full-time and part-time. Engagement options like contract, internship and permanent employment. Also filtering jobs based on location, if it is a remote job or an on-site job. Lastly, they can filter out the applied jobs to display only new jobs. Let's view more details about this job before applying. For this job, you can check the industry, job type, engagement options, and the required skill sets. Let's go ahead and apply for this job. Now, let's check the status of this job. Let's go to the job results page now. Here, you can filter the jobs you have applied for, based on any event, or you can select all events. Check the status of your job application in this column for each apply job, for each event. Once you apply to a job, the recruiter gets 72 hours to respond to your application which will be displayed as ETA 72 hours. If your profile is shortlisted, you will be able to schedule interview slots for your interview. And if your profile is skipped, you can view the analytics, about the selected candidates for this job. Let's understand the job analytics for a skipped profile. Here, you can find the job title, reason for skipping the profile, number of job applications, selected candidates, the skills the shortlisted candidates had, and the skill match percentage. If your profile was shortlisted, you can click on Select Slot, to schedule your interview. Here, you can select any slot from the list of available slots, or request a new slot if required. Now, let's go to the event calendar and check all the scheduled interviews. You can find all scheduled interviews and events here. That's it. You have successfully completed the candidate flow. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Recurum's candidate flow. On the quick start page, enter your name, contact number, and email ID. In the quick submission section, you can upload your resume. Click the click to upload button, and upload the resume in a PDF format. You can also download your resume from LinkedIn, and upload it in a PDF format. On the skill set section, click the add skills button. Once you add the required skill sets, select your expertise of that skill from the slider. If your desired skill set isn't mentioned, you can also contribute a skill. For example, enter a skill and select the option, like to contribute. Here, mention the category, and a description for this skill you want to contribute. Once done, click on submit. Here, select your expertise for this particular skill. Once done, click on Continue with Profile. In the Address section, enter your address, zip code, city, state, country, and nationality. Here, enter your work experience and education details to proceed. You can double-check the information you have entered. You can upload your certifications in the Upload Certification section. If you have a link to your profile, and the URL, in the Profile Link section. Once done, click the Save and Continue button. The details you have provided will appear on the Profile page, as shown here. Now, let's go to the Event section, and book an event. Here, you will be able to find all past events, ongoing events, and upcoming events. This is a list of all recommended events. Some are virtual events while some are offline events. Let's select IT Summit 2020 and book this event. The total job opportunities, companies attending this event, and the skill bifurcation will be visible here. You can also find more details about this event on this page. You can also share the event on various platforms. Let's book this event now. When you click on Book Event, it will show you the type of ticket, your billing address, the promo code if you have applied, and the total cost to pay. Let's go ahead and join this event. Recurum will redirect to Job Opportunity page, and Picture in Picture will open with the live stream of the event. You can expand the Picture in Picture view like this. There are two sections Recommended Jobs, and Other Jobs. Recommended jobs are pre qualified jobs that are relevant to your skills. Other jobs are jobs that you are eligible to apply, but not necessarily relevant to your skills. With the smart algorithms, Recurum matches the job's skill set with the candidate's skills and displays jobs in the recommended section.
the jobs that don't target specific skills, will be shown in other jobs section. Candidates can filter the types of jobs, like full-time and part-time. Engagement options like contract, internship and permanent employment. Also filtering jobs based on location, if it is a remote job or an on-site job. Lastly, they can filter out the applied jobs to display only new jobs. Let's view more details about this job before applying. For this job, you can check the industry, job type, engagement options, and the required skill sets. Let's go ahead and apply for this job. Now, let's check the status of this job. Let's go to the job results page now. Here, you can filter the jobs you have applied for, based on any event, or you can select all events. Check the status of your job application in this column for each applied job, for each event. Once you apply to a job, the recruiter gets 72 hours to respond to your application which will be displayed as ETA 72 hours. If your profile is shortlisted, you will be able to schedule interview slots for your interview. And if your profile is skipped, you can view the analytics, about the selected candidates for this job. Let's understand the job analytics for a skipped profile. Here, you can find the job title, reason for skipping the profile, number of job applications, selected candidates, the skills the shortlisted candidates had, and the skill match percentage. If your profile was shortlisted, you can click on Select Slot, to schedule your interview. Here, you can select any slot from the list of available slots, or request a new slot if required. Now, let's go to the event calendar and check all the scheduled interviews. You can find all scheduled interviews and events here. That's it. You have successfully completed the candidate flow. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Recurum's Candidate Flow. On the Quick Start page, enter your name, contact number, and email ID. In the Quick Submission section, you can upload your resume. Click the Click to Upload button, and upload the resume in a PDF format. You can also download your resume from LinkedIn, and upload it in a PDF format. On the Skill Set section, click the Add Skills button. Once you add the required skill sets, select your expertise of that skill from the slider. If your desired skill set isn't mentioned, you can also contribute a skill. For example, enter a skill and select the option, like to contribute. Here, mention the category, and a description for this skill you want to contribute. Once done, click on Submit. Here, select your expertise for this particular skill. Once done, click on Continue with Profile. In the Address section, enter your address, zip code, city, state, country, and nationality. Here, enter your work experience, and education details to proceed. You can double check the information you have entered. You can upload your certifications in the Upload Certification section. If you have a link to your profile, add the URL, in the Profile Link section. Once done, click the Save and Continue button. The details you have provided will appear on the profile page, as shown here. Now, let's go to the event section, and book an event. Here, you will be able to find all past events, ongoing events, and upcoming events. This is a list of all recommended events. Some are virtual events while some are offline events. Let's select IT Summit 2020 and book this event. The total job opportunities, companies attending this event, and the skill bifurcation will be visible here. You can also find more details about this event on this page. You can also share the event on various platforms. Let's book this event now. When you click on Book Event, it will show you the type of ticket, your billing address, the promo code if you have applied, and the total cost to pay. Let's go ahead and join this event. Recurum will redirect to Job Opportunity page, and Picture in Picture will open with the live stream of the event. You can expand the Picture in Picture view like this. There are two sections Recommended Jobs, and Other Jobs. Recommended jobs are pre-qualified jobs that are relevant to your skills. Other jobs, are jobs that you are eligible to apply, but not necessarily relevant to your skills. With the smart algorithms, 
Rikaram matches the job's skill set with the candidate's skills and displays jobs in the recommended section. The jobs that don't target specific skills will be shown in other jobs section. Candidates can filter the types of jobs, like full time and part time. Engagement options like contract, internship, and permanent employment. Also, filtering jobs based on location, if it is a remote job or an on site job. Lastly, they can filter out the applied jobs to display only new jobs. Let's view more details about this job before applying. For this job, you can check the industry, job type, engagement options, and the required skill sets. Let's go ahead and apply for this job. Now, let's check the status of this job. Let's go to the job results page now. Here, you can filter the jobs you have applied for, based on any event, or you can select all events. Check the status of your job application in this column for each apply job, for each event. Once you apply to a job, the recruiter gets 72 hours to respond to your application which will be displayed as ETA 72 hours. If your profile is shortlisted, you will be able to schedule interview slots for your interview. And if your profile is skipped, you can view the analytics about the selected candidates for this job. Let's understand the job analytics for a skipped profile. Here, you can find the job title, reason for skipping the profile, number of job applications, selected candidates, the skills the shortlisted candidates had, and the skill match percentage. If your profile was shortlisted, you can click on Select Slot to schedule your interview. Here, you can select any slot from the list of available slots or request a new slot if required. Now, let's go to the event calendar and check all the scheduled interviews. You can find all scheduled interviews and events here. That's it. You have successfully completed the candidate flow. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Recurum's candidate flow. On the quick start page, enter your name, contact number, and email ID. In the quick submission section, you can upload your resume. Click the click to upload button and upload the resume in a PDF format. You can also download your resume from LinkedIn and upload it in a PDF format. On the skill set section, click the add skills button. Once you add the required skill sets, select your expertise of that skill from the slider. If your desired skill set isn't mentioned, you can also contribute a skill. For example, enter a skill and select the option, like to contribute. Here, mention the category and a description for this skill you want to contribute. Once done, click on submit. Here, select your expertise for this particular skill. Once done, click on continue with profile. In the address section, enter your address, zip code, city, state, country, and nationality. Here, enter your work experience and education details to proceed. You can double check the information you have entered. You can upload your certifications in the upload certification section. If you have a link to your profile, add the URL in the profile link section. Once done, click the save and continue button. The details you have provided will appear on the profile page as shown here. Now, let's go to the event section and book an event. Here, you will be able to find all past events, ongoing events, and upcoming events. This is a list of all recommended events. Some are virtual events while some are offline events. Let's select IT Summit 2020 and book this event. The total job opportunities, companies attending this event, and the skill bifurcation will be visible here. You can also find more details about this event on this page. You can also share the event on various platforms. Let's book this event now. When you click on book event, it will show you the type of ticket, your billing address, the promo code if you have applied, and the total cost to pay. Let's go ahead and join this event. Recurum will redirect to job opportunity page, and picture in picture will open with the live stream of the event. You can expand the picture in picture view like this. There are two sections, recommended jobs, and other jobs. Recommended jobs are pre-qualified jobs that are relevant to your skills. Other jobs are jobs that you are eligible to apply, but not necessarily relevant to your skills. With the smart algorithms, Recurum matches the job's skill set with the candidate's skills and displays jobs in the recommended section. 
The jobs that don't target specific skills, will be shown in other jobs section. Candidates can filter the types of jobs, like full-time and part-time. Engagement options like contract, internship and permanent employment. Also filtering jobs based on location, if it is a remote job or an on-site job. Lastly, they can filter out the applied jobs to display only new jobs. Let's view more details about this job before applying. For this job, you can check the industry, job type, engagement options, and the required skill sets. Let's go ahead and apply for this job. Now, let's check the status of this job. Let's go to the job results page now. Here, you can filter the jobs you have applied for, based on any event, or you can select all events. Check the status of your job application in this column for each applied job, for each event. Once you apply to a job, the recruiter gets 72 hours to respond to your application which will be displayed as ETA 72 hours. If your profile is shortlisted, you will be able to schedule interview slots for your interview. And if your profile is skipped, you can view the analytics, about the selected candidates for this job. Let's understand the job analytics for a skipped profile. Here, you can find the job title, reason for skipping the profile, number of job applications, selected candidates, the skills the shortlisted candidates had, and the skill match percentage. If your profile was shortlisted, you can click on Select Slot, to schedule your interview. Here, you can select any slot from the list of available slots, or request a new slot if required. Now, let's go to the event calendar and check all the scheduled interviews. You can find all scheduled interviews and events here. That's it. You have successfully completed the candidate flow. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Recurum's candidate flow. On the quick start page, enter your name, contact number, and email ID. In the quick submission section, you can upload your resume. Click the click to upload button, and upload the resume in a PDF format. You can also download your resume from LinkedIn, and upload it in a PDF format. On the skill set section, click the add skills button. Once you add the required skill sets, select your expertise of that skill from the slider. If your desired skill set isn't mentioned, you can also contribute a skill. For example, enter a skill and select the option, like to contribute. Here, mention the category and a description for this skill you want to contribute. Once done, click on Submit. Here, select your expertise for this particular skill. Once done, click on Continue with Profile. In the Address section, enter your address, zip code, city, state, country, and nationality. Here, enter your work experience and education details to proceed. You can double-check the information you have entered. You can upload your certifications in the Upload Certification section. If you have a link to your profile, add the URL, in the Profile Link section. Once done, click the Save and Continue button. The details you have provided will appear on the Profile page, as shown here. Now, let's go to the event section, and book an event. Here, you will be able to find all past events, ongoing events, and upcoming events. This is a list of all recommended events. Some are virtual events while some are offline events. Let's select IT Summit 2020 and book this event. The total job opportunities, companies attending this event, and the skill bifurcation will be visible here. You can also find more details about this event on this page. You can also share the event on various platforms. Let's book this event now. When you click on Book Event, it will show you the type of ticket, your billing address, the promo code if you have applied, and the total cost to pay. Let's go ahead and join this event. Recurum will redirect to job opportunity page, and picture in picture will open with the live stream of the event. You can expand the picture in picture view like this. There are two sections, recommended jobs, and other jobs.
I'm in part. Now, let's check the status of this job. Let's go to the job results page now. Here, you can filter the jobs you have applied for, based on any event, Finish, can and you can start? select all events. Check the status of your job application in this column for each applied job, for each event. Okay. Once you apply to a job, the recruiter gets 72 hours to respond to your application which will be displayed as ETA 72 hours. If your profile is shortlisted, you will be able to schedule interview slots for your interview. And if your profile is skipped, you can view the analytics about the selected candidates for this job. Let's understand the job analytics for a skipped profile. Here, you can find the job title, reason for skipping the profile, number of job applications, selected candidates, the skills the shortlisted candidates had, and the skill match percentage. If your profile was shortlisted, Hello? you can click on select slot to schedule your interview. Here, you can select any slot from the list of available slots, or request a new slot if required. Now, let's go to the event calendar and check all the scheduled interviews. You can find all scheduled interviews and events here. That's it. You have successfully completed the candidate flow. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Recurum's candidate flow. On the Quick Start page, enter your name, contact number, and email ID. In the Quick Submission section, you can upload your resume. Click the Click to Upload button, and upload the resume in a PDF format. You can also download your resume from LinkedIn, and upload it in a PDF format. On the Skill Set section, click the Add Skills button. Once you add the required skill sets, select your expertise of that skill from the slider. If your desired skill set isn't mentioned, you can also contribute a skill. For example, enter a skill and select the option, like to contribute. Here, mention the category, and a description for this skill you want to contribute. Once done, click on submit. Here, select your expertise for this particular skill. Once done, click on continue with profile. In the address section, enter your address, zip code, city, state, country, and nationality. Here, enter your work experience and education details to proceed. You can double check the information you have entered. You can upload your certifications in the upload certification section. If you have a link to your profile, add the URL in the profile link section. Once done, click the save and continue button. The details you have provided will appear on the profile page as shown here. Now, let's go to the event section and book an event. Here, you will be able to find all past events, ongoing events, and upcoming events. This is a list of all recommended events. Some are virtual events while some are offline events. Let's select IT Summit 2020 and book this event. The total job opportunities, companies attending this event, and the skill bifurcation will be visible here. You can also find more details about this event on this page. You can also share the event on various platforms. Let's book this event now. When you click on book event, it will show you the type of ticket, your billing address, the promo code if you have applied, and the total cost to pay. Let's go ahead and join this event. Recurum will redirect to job opportunity page, and picture in picture will open with the live stream of the event. You can expand the picture in picture view like this. There are two sections, recommended jobs, and other jobs. Recommended jobs are pre-qualified jobs that are relevant to your skills. Other jobs are jobs that you are eligible to apply, but not necessarily relevant to your skills. With the smart algorithms, Recurum matches the job's skill set with the candidate's skills and displays jobs in the recommended section. The jobs that don't target specific skills will be shown in other jobs section. Candidates can filter the types of jobs, like full-time and part-time. Engagement options like contract, internship and permanent employment. 
also filtering jobs based on location, if it is a remote job or an on-site job. Lastly, they can filter out the applied jobs to display only new jobs. Let's view more details about this job before applying. For this job, you can check the industry, job type, engagement options, and the required skill sets. Let's go ahead and apply for this job. Now, let's check the status of this job. Let's go to the job results page now. Here, you can filter the jobs you have applied for, based on any event, or you can select all events. Check the status of your job application in this column for each applied job, for each event. Once you apply to a job, the recruiter gets 72 hours to respond to your application which will be displayed as ETA 72 hours. If your profile is shortlisted, you will be able to schedule interview slots for your interview. And if your profile is skipped, you can view the analytics about the selected candidates for this job. Let's understand the job analytics for a skipped profile. Here, you can find the job title, reason for skipping the profile, number of job applications, selected candidates, the skills the shortlisted candidates had, and the skill match percentage. If your profile was shortlisted, you can click on Select Slot to schedule your interview. Here, you can select any slot from the list of available slots, or request a new slot if required. Now, let's go to the event calendar and check all the scheduled interviews. You can find all scheduled interviews and events here. That's it. You have successfully completed the candidate flow. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Recurum's Candidate Flow. On the Quick Start page, enter your name, contact number, and email ID. In the Quick Submission section, you can upload your resume. Click the Click to Upload button, and upload the resume in a PDF format. You can also download your resume from LinkedIn, and upload it in a PDF format. On the Skill Set section, click the Add Skills button. Once you add the required skill sets, select your expertise of that skill from the slider. If your desired skill set isn't mentioned, you can also contribute a skill. For example, enter a skill and select the option, Like to contribute? Here, mention the category, and a description for this skill you want to contribute. Once done, click on Submit. Here, select your expertise for this particular skill. Once done, click on Continue with Profile. In the Address section, enter your address, zip code, city, state country, and nationality. Here, enter your work experience and education details to proceed. You can double-check the information you have entered. You can upload your certifications in the Upload Certification section. If you have a link to your profile, add the URL in the Profile Link section. Once done, click the Save and Continue button. The details you have provided will appear on the profile page, as shown here. Now. Let's go to the event section, and book an event. Here, you will be able to find all past events, ongoing events, and upcoming events. This is a list of all recommended events. Some are virtual events while some are offline events. Let's select IT Summit 2020 and book this event. The total job opportunities, companies attending this event, and the skill... Welcome back students. So here we are after a very long break. I'm sorry. So welcome back to Recorum Talks. And as I told you that we have Mr. Paris with us today and he would be enlightening us with his experiences and his journey throughout these years and would, sir, would you like to introduce yourself?
no you're not audible sir so paris sir has been into community building and community management from good 10 years i feel and he has been doing a great job and uh, he has also been on a very good stage that is he he, he has been on a tedx stage also and uh, i think he would give us today a great great piece of knowledge and all these students we have today with us two colleges one is state institute of engineering and technology and another one is marathwada engineering college pune recommended jobs and other jobs recommended jobs are pre-qualified jobs that are relevant to your skills other jobs are jobs that you are eligible to apply but not necessarily relevant to your skills with the smart algorithms reeker matches the job skill set with the candidate's skills and displays jobs in the recommended section the jobs that don't target specific skills will be shown in other jobs section Candidates can filter the types of jobs like full-time and part-time, engagement options like contract, internship and permanent employment. Also filtering jobs based on location if it is a remote job or an on-site job. Lastly, they can filter out the applied jobs to display only new jobs. Let's view more details about this job before applying. For this job, you can check the industry, job type, engagement options. and the required skill sets let's go ahead and apply for this job now let's check the status of this job let's go to the job results page now here you can filter the jobs you have applied for based on any event or you can select all events check the status of your job application in this column for each applied job for each event once you apply to a job The recruiter gets 72 hours to respond to your application which will be displayed as ETA 72 hours. If your profile is shortlisted, you will be able to schedule interview slots for your interview. And if your profile is skipped, you can view the analytics about the selected candidates for this job. Let's understand the job analytics for a skipped profile. Here, you can find the job title, reason for skipping the profile, number of job applications, selected candidates, the skills the shortlisted candidates had and the skill match percentage if your profile was shortlisted you can click on select slot to schedule your interview here you can select any slot from the list of available slots or request a new slot if required now let's go to the event calendar and check all the scheduled interviews you can find all scheduled interviews and events here that's it You have successfully completed the candidate flow. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Recurum's candidate flow. On the quick start page, enter your name, contact number, and email ID. In the quick submission section, you can upload your resume. Click the click to upload button and upload the resume in a PDF format. You can also download your resume from LinkedIn and upload it in a PDF format. On the skill set section, click the add skills button. Once you add the required skill sets, select your expertise of that skill from the slider. If your desired skill set isn't mentioned, you can also contribute a skill. For example, enter a skill and select the option like to contribute. Here, mention the category and a description for this skill you want to contribute.
Once done, click on Submit. Here, select your expertise for this particular skill. Once done, click on Continue with Profile. In the Address section, enter your address, zip code, city, state, country, and nationality. Here, enter your work experience and education details to proceed. You can double check the information you have entered. You can upload your certifications in the Upload Certification section. If you have a link to your profile, add the URL in the Profile Link section. Once done, click the Save and Continue button. The details you have provided will appear on the profile page, as shown here. Now, let's go to the Events section and book an event. Here, you will be able to find all past events, ongoing events, and upcoming events. This is a list of all recommended events. Some are virtual events while some are offline events. Let's select IT Summit 2020 and book this event. The total job opportunities, companies attending this event, and the skill bifurcation will be visible here. You can also find more details about this event on this page. You can also share the event on various platforms. Let's book this event now. When you click on Book Event, it will show you the type of ticket, your billing address, the promo code if you have applied, and the total cost to pay. Let's go ahead and join this event. Recurum will redirect to Job Opportunity page, and Picture in Picture will open with the live stream of the event. You can expand the Picture in Picture view like this. There are two sections Recommended Jobs, and Other Jobs. Recommended jobs are pre-qualified jobs that are relevant to your skills. Other jobs, are jobs that you are eligible to apply, but not necessarily relevant to your skills. With the smart algorithms, Recurum matches the job's skill set with the candidate's skills and displays jobs in the recommended section. The jobs that don't target specific skills, will be shown in other jobs section. Candidates can filter the types of jobs, like full-time and part-time. Engagement options like contract, internship and permanent employment. Also filtering jobs based on location, if it is a remote job or an on-site job. Lastly, they can filter out the applied jobs to display only new jobs. Let's view more details about this job before applying. For this job, you can check the industry, job type, engagement options, and the required skill sets. Let's go ahead and apply for this job. Now. Let's check the status of this job. Let's go to the job results page now. Here, you can filter the jobs you have applied for, based on any event, or you can select all events. Check the status of your job application in this column for each applied job, for each event. Once you apply to a job, the recruiter gets 72 hours to respond to your application which will be displayed as ETA 72 hours. If your profile is shortlisted, you will be able to schedule interview slots for your interview. And if your profile is skipped, you can view the analytics about the selected candidates for this job. Let's understand the job analytics for a skipped profile. Here, you can find the job title, reason for skipping the profile, number of job applications, selected candidates, the skills the shortlisted candidates had, and the skill match percentage. If your profile was shortlisted, you can click on Select Slot to schedule your interview. Here, you can select any slot from the list of available slots, or request a new slot if required. Now, let's go to the event calendar and check all the scheduled interviews. You can find all scheduled interviews and events here. That's it. You have successfully completed the candidate flow. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Recurum's candidate flow. On the Quick Start page, enter your name, contact number, and email ID. In the Quick Submission section, you can upload your resume. Click the Click to Upload button, and upload the resume in a PDF format. You can also download your resume from LinkedIn, and upload it in a PDF format. On the Skill Set section, click the Add Skills button. Once you add the required skill sets, select your expertise of that skill from the slider. If your desired skill set isn't mentioned, you can also contribute a skill. For example, enter a skill and select the option, like to contribute. Here, mention the category, and a description for this skill you want to contribute. Once done, click on submit. Here, 
select your expertise for this particular skill. Once done, click on Continue with Profile. In the Address section, enter your address, zip code, city, state, country, and nationality. Here, enter your work experience and education details to proceed. You can double check the information you have entered. You can upload your certifications in the Upload Certification section. If you have a link to your profile, add the URL in the Profile Link section. Once done, click the Save and Continue button. The details you have provided will appear on the profile page, as shown here. Now, let's go to the Events section and book an event. Here, you will be able to find all past events, ongoing events, and upcoming events. This is a Hi, Megan. Hello, how was How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, really sorry. I don't know what was wrong. That's like really irritating. And yes. uh, yeah, <laughs> really sorry. For so, that. welcome, going? welcome, welcome back to Recorum Talks. And I've introduced a complete concept and I've introduced you. And now we want to hear it from you that how, how has been the journey so far? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's just start with a very draw. Uh, everyone, hi, uh, this is Paris and uh, I'm a community builder and uh, like it might sound a little new or a little odd to someone that what I do and, and what community builder is, but yeah, like that's my profession and uh, I do it as, in, as a hobby and profession both basically. But the major thing is uh, I started into this uh, community management. So we call this whole domain as community management. Uh, as a professional term and I started as in um, in 2016 uh, I like you know that was the first time I officially got into this and I realized that that how people can build communities around businesses and I joined a startup where uh, I helped them it was a, it was a tech company and I was supposed to work with developers so I was making developer communities there like multiple developer communities, I'm sure uh, people, those who are listening to me here, uh, mostly or, or few of them must be developers or few of them must be coders or like, you know, CS people or, or everyone, anyone who, who codes. So they will definitely understand like what developer communities are. And, and that's how I started uh, by building communities for, uh, let's say, a data science community or a, a product management community or a um let's say python specific community or ruby on rails community so that's how i started and from there i realized that uh, communities are going to be the future and uh, i was not wrong i guess uh, when we entered in 2021 the kind of uh, boom came and everybody started talking about communities like it just became the thing now now every marketer every business person every entrepreneur everyone is talking about building communities even uh, bigger giants like Facebook and uh, or let's say Microsoft, they they have changed this mission statement to to communities or like you know community first organizations and stuff like that. So that is a that is a big thing uh, and sort of something which uh, I thought will come eventually has eventually arrived in India and uh, I have been doing it from very starting. Um, like I already mentioned, probably ahead in the race, so probably got a chance to work with good organizations also in past like. Good organization, when I mean, uh, it's actually Microsoft, Facebook, they are people in our uh, society, they are, these organizations have been called really good if you work with them. And uh, I somehow got a chance to work with them being uh, being someone from some college and uh, having no great background, but still got a chance to uh, not just join teams, but lead teams. Like wherever I've been, I've been uh, leading teams all over country or, or like you know taking care of india chapter or taking care of the city chapters and stuff like that so yeah i like that's what uh something i have been doing apart from that i run my own organization under which i uh, help companies to build communities i help them uh, understand how they can establish a community and grow their brand grow their business 
let's say um, let's say telling telling Royan and Feed to build a community of bikers is something which I'll be doing for them. So so similar kind of stuff I have been doing, and uh, that's that that has been the journey. And apart from that, I do multiple things. Probably on the way, I'll I'll let you know about that. So yeah, that's about me. So uh, what is this community management like? Uh, you've been telling us this. That what exactly is community management? How to understand okay. concept? Yeah, very very simple. It might sound really fancy from far, but let me just break it down in a very simple manner. Uh, let's take an example. Um, okay, I'll I'll talk about business example because that's how it's been understood. Otherwise, normally a community is simply. a group of people which have like a similar purpose and uh, they are there to help each other to 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 survive in that like you know that's community like like what happened uh, during covid is basically when the government fail and uh, small communities small groups came together and help each other right because because the the problem was so common to everyone that everybody just got related to it and everybody just help each other without even thinking that anyone else any super power will come and and help us so similarly in businesses let's say um let's talk about tell me tell me any brand megna um any fashion brand anything tell me anything and i'll i'll give you an example around community of that mintra like a social mintra yeah works mintra works so mintra is basically uh a brand which through which you can you can buy apparels and buy fashion basically it's a fashion brand right you so for mintra uh, like you know there will be so similarly like mintra there are multiple brands like flipkart who also sells though mintra has been acquired by flipkart but before flipkart also had fashion snapdeal also had fashion or uh, blah 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 so many right so when as a as a consumer how do mintra stop me like you know how do mintra keep me as their valuable user valuable member so they introduce me to the community they introduce me to the people those who have similar interests of fashion with me they make me part of that group and i start exchanging the thoughts i start exchanging ideas with them and similarly i get stuck to the so now i'm not just part of mintra as a as a company where i can just go and put put my clothes in the uh, cart and just check out and buy things there i'm also connected with people who, with whom i share ideas and like you know share fa- fashion tips and stuff like that which eventually makes me more connected to the brand and that's why mintra and eventually mintra will will create more uh, brand trust and brand loyalty with that community which is which is rare and unfortunately it's not been even understood in india because because our indian ecosystem is like you know our brands doesn't work on brand values and trust at least in india like outside india if there is walmart there is walmart there is amazon then there is amazon like you know but in india it's like 5% off if you are giving to me i am yours and if you are giving me 10% i am i am yours so it's like so brand loyalty brand trust is not there and and uh, and communities eventually help you to to gain that and uh, mintra can have a community of of fashion lovers and fashion influencers who will eventually grow the mintra's brand organically their marketing team will will be working on one side and then their community team will be working on one side and eventually growing the whole uh, mintra as a whole brand and growing impacting their business so that's that's something that's kind of communities strategies i create and that is community management like you know like uh, harley davidson having a community of bikers which was the their core that's why they grew up otherwise they are completely going down probably 1980s and now their core group is called hogs harley owner groups and it's it's everywhere in the world mumbai hogs delhi hogs are also here like you know so it's it's everywhere in the world and and that's the that's the beauty of community you know like once people start feeling like i'm part of it I'm, i'm i belong to this space then they always want to stick to it because the biggest thing missing in our lives is belonging right we only belong to what uh, to to our family to probably our colleagues little bit if we can if we are lucky enough then uh, then we we feel belong to to probably our our religion somewhat and a few more things but we don't belong to so many things so so belonging is really really important for businesses to survive and community actually helps you get that so uh, i hope if, you got that yes i hope yes. you 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 understood the basic basic part of it i yeah. understood the basic concept of communities but, uh, but then coming back uh, this concept has been really really new to all of us it was not there mm-hmm. back in 
time if we talk about so if yeah. i ask you uh, in 2015 what was this community was there any community management or was there there were communities i know definitely but mm. but were they following this uh, this passionately uh okay okay uh, so i'll tell you one thing probably so community management as a profession it's like it's like marketing it's like digital marketer or or a data enthusiast or 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 a, uh, like you know uh, or let's say sales guy or a or whatever product management so, so you know these are all professions similarly community management is also a profession and it's been there for more than 20 years now okay unfortunately not in our country and um, and and people people here in our country were working in this domain as not as community manager this term started coming probably from 2013 14 like you know started coming in the picture like or even i can say 2012 okay before that it was really not working but before that people were working as relationship manager or or happiness manager or stuff like that you know like where where their work is again to interact with the with the users you know work was there this thing was there but community manager this role was not there but then again uh, in 2015 i had no clue about it like you know as a profession i what what was what i was doing i was i i joined accenture yeah as a software tester and i and i worked for like 6 months there and somehow got a chance to be out of it and i i really feel lucky that i left i was i am i'm like I'm, i was not there and and it led me to a new good side which is which is where i'm right now so uh, that time i don't remember that it was it was not glorified you know it was not been talked so much not everybody like that time it was digital marketer social media marketer graphic designer all such things were there but community manager is not there so so some, that's what i'm telling you probably my role came in where i started this community of community builders in india in 2016 that was the first community which i started building on my own apart from any other business which is called community folks which is my organization name also so there i realized that like you know and and what i did is uh, i started collecting people who are similar like me or those who are working for brands and doing community management for them and we all got connected we all are uh, it's a facebook group we discuss ideas like you know how to grow how to engage community and stuff like that but from there it started happening we started doing meetups and stuff like that everywhere in the country people started recognizing us so in 2015 it was it was there but i wasn't aware i'll say i'll not i'll not deny that it was it was not there there are community builders those who are older than me but everybody was doing it in silos you know nobody nobody actually came up to bring this profession on top they were just doing it they were happy they were doing their job and going back home so probably that was missing and that happened when we when uh, we started this community called community folks in 2016 or probably 16 end of 17 starting and that was a time uh, this all this all started so yeah. how how like you've told us that uh, in 2016 you followed it so how was it different in uh, 2020 like before the pandemic not 2020 but in 2019 okay uh, so 19 also before it's, the pandemic yeah before pandemic it was it started booming before pandemic you know started booming started uh, the culture started coming to india from the west and uh, there were more community managers and uh, before pandemic it was if i'll say before pandemic it was like you know if in 2016 it was 10% by 2019 it was 35 to 40% and now it's like almost 90% almost on the similar level it's, it it has it has rocketed like anything like you know it, the trend has come like anything from from 0 to 1 so quickly yeah so that that has happened but it was 2019 was also uh, kind of um uh, kind of a good mark i'll say kind of the kind of the spark started coming in 2019 and then actually pandemic helped community management as a profession because because businesses turned online and then they wanted someone to hold their audience and that's why communities came in picture and now it's booming 
so how does how like uh, how this community management works like uh, if you could give us a brief idea like uh, how community is like everybody has got passion i think like uh, somebody likes music somebody likes biking somebody likes traveling so mm-hmm. how to get into it because Mul- multiple ways multiple ways to get into it see um okay uh, if if we're talking about just someone uh, having interest so okay look, look at instagram right what is happening on instagram uh influencers are, are 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 growing and then by their by their followers count they're getting business they're getting ads they're getting uh, like you know uh, they're becoming part of some collaborations partnerships with other brands so eventually eventually what businesses want businesses want outreach businesses want uh, eyeballs you know businesses want more business and their traditional ways of of marketing and sales has a level of reach has a level of thing but then after that then they need more that's why they are reaching out to influencers who will promote their brand and and their brand will get more more sales and everything similarly if somebody has an interest in music or let's say biking or something what they can do is like you know it, it's not just with having interest it's about do you also want to help people who have the interest you know if that mindset you have then you can think of starting a community okay but if, if it just you have the interest then you can join a community there are like two aspects either you build one or join one right so uh, so so communities are going to be for everyone there is no there is no bias in in those communities you know like if if this is my interest if i love pottery i can join a pottery pottery club if i love uh, data science i can join a data science community so it, it could be like like anything and anyone who wants to get into it can get into it in a in multiple manners uh, they can if you are interested in 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 um, helping people then you can get into this role as a community manager and and join a company and help them build their community and uh, if you are interested uh, in um, let's say running your own community and uh, and getting brand partnerships and uh, and launching some of your own services and products let's say let's say a, a yoga person you know yoga practitioner can basically take a take a start a community on on her own or on his own and then have these yoga people and can sell his courses can sell his learnings can sell his products to them and eventually make a whole business whole living out of a community also so that thing is also there so um, so there like like i mentioned there are multiple ways to get inside community so is is it is it a full time role or uh, does it does it just take uh, you passion and but you have to be uh thorough with your career and this can be a side thing yeah so firstly it's a full time role it's even more than more than full time because um because community is is bunch of people right they are in the group they are chit chatting they are always talking they never sleep your community never sleep it's like 24/7 any time something can happen some mis- mishap can happen and then you have to be there moderate the group so it's, if if you see on paper community never sleeps that's why the role of a community manager never stops it's like it's always less because because to make a beautiful community to make an engaged not engaged to me make a meaningful uh, deeply connected community if i'll say the community builder has to has to connect with most of the members and somehow when you connect with those members you invest so much time in those relationships and then you start understanding those people and then you start match making them so that they they start feeling belong to it to uh, like you know to one place so so definitely it's a full time job i know people those who those who run it as a as a part time thing but their their reasons are there to run run it part time probably their business they're supporting their business through that community that's why they're doing it part time or they're fulfilling some of their passion that's why they're doing it part time but but eventually uh, if you're passionate about about something and you're running a community around it why would you do any other job if you can sustain and and live through a community you will definitely uh, run a community properly and stay stick to it and then 
sustain your life live your life so i i guess it's a full time profession there are there are plenty plenty of jobs which are coming up to and people are looking for good community builders and uh, unfortunately the trouble is there is no there is no one course fits all kind of a thing for community building Th that's the difficult part you know like like uh, it requires more than more than a machinery skill which is basically required in a company to work right like if you know how to code you can just code but a good developer is not someone who can just code a good developer is someone who can actually logically break a problem solve a problem which is not common that's why good developers and developers there is a very big margin in them similarly there is a community builder and then there is a good community builder there is a very big margin anybody can say hey i can i can post on social media i can talk to people i can do events doesn't makes you a good community builder what it requires is is an extra edge that extra edge you take to help your members to understand them empathize with them is basically requires to build that community and i guess that is that is what that is what is uh, being looked in the market right now and these jobs are booming like whoever is listening right now let me just tell you these jobs are booming like anything we just go out put it on linkedin put it on nokri intern shala or angel list or wherever you want to you will find multiple jobs to be Uh, like you know, people are hiring community builders, community managers for their organization. So, if you feel uh, fancy by my talk, by my session, please go and check it out. And if you feel that you belong to it, then definitely go apply for it. Yeah. So, uh, is there any? As you just mentioned, that there is no such course. Is there mm -hmm. anything that that I, can, we can learn, or any anywhere, any place that commun that teaches us community management, basically? i can teach you <laughs> obviously yeah i do sessions i do such things even the the company i'm working with the startup where where we are working we are building a community building platform uh, which is focused just on building communities and the first thing we do is we have created a boot camp which is a self learning boot camp one can eventually enroll to it and learn the in and out of communities at least on one level and then once you are good enough you am i audible yes sorry for that so that's the problem of being a community builder your phone keeps on buzzing that's why i never want to take calls on phone i never do that that's a big big trouble so uh, like i was mentioning that uh, there is a there's a boot camp which we guys have and one can go and learn from there otherwise if you want to learn community building there are course uh, courses outside india pretty costly let me just tell you like pretty costly pretty uh, like they goes until 1000 dollars and so that is really really costly but uh, yeah the, those things are there but as of now this is a booming uh thing and it's just growing up so probably it will take some time and uh yeah like it will take some time meanwhile if you have queries or stuff you can reach out to me but my suggestion will be because i'm more approachable there is a difficulty from my side also to to provide time to all such queries as well right like uh, probably in a day i get i get at least at least three new queries around what is community or what you do it's booming in that manner So it's very difficult for me to cater 90 people in a month, and that's not surely my responsibility to aware people, but not my responsibility, right? So what I expect is that people do their own research also. They read a little bit. They like you know, I guess that will eventually help if you read what is community management, who is a good community manager, uh, what are the communities, uh, why businesses need communities, and what is the future of communities. I guess if somebody will read that, it will eventually help you to understand and and give us. better give me bet like you know chance to help you also so that is something to uh, me is community management always related to something that you really like or it can evolve around anything is it is it only about just people management if you are a community manager but is because i have all because this concept is quite new for quite a mm. people like me because uh, we have started from very basic and we st this concept is really new for us it mm. may be in boom for like in uh, metro cities but not but not here 
so i'll tell you um first of all it could be for anyone okay it just like but it requires not just require people management that is just just one skill like you know it require the biggest part to run a run a community and scale it is content so understanding of content creation distribution like you know and keeping it so regular is also something you require uh, one needs to be good at good at organizing things like you know organizing experiences hosting meetups or 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 bigger conferences or stuff whatever you you want to so you need to be really good at that also um then you have to be uh really good at at communicating with people as well like you cannot be gloomy and and doing this because uh people really expect you to be cheerful they really draw energy from you so probably a leader a community leader has to be a little bit active and a little bit bright and uh, and apart from that you you need basic knowledge like you know even more not just basic even beyond basic knowledge of uh, of social media and uh, marketing and branding because eventually you want your community to grow and then once you're building this community meanwhile you want to sustain you need to learn partnerships you need to learn sales you need to learn uh, the part of sustainability so so i feel just by building one community i have learned almost all aspects of running a business it's nothing like nothing less than less than running a startup it's like completely like a startup there is a cause there are people those who are interested you sim- somehow bring all of them together then you bring businesses then you somehow do the partnerships to which survives helps you survive which helps your community survives and you keep it going till the time your community become sustainable you keep it going that's how you do it or you you bring in your own services or products which eventually help you survive so so yeah like it's for everyone it's it, anyone can get into it uh, but these are the things which you require to to learn and to to apply in communities so is there any 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 feedback anything any ad- piece of advice for csit students because today we have these students with us that they can many of students like uh, like me only there are students who realize after the engineering okay that we are not made for this and we okay. have some skills okay see like i already mentioned it's like five fingers all are different one size fits all that's not possible so so my suggestion because if anyone who's younger than me who's listening who some sort of my responsibility you know that's what my mom told me the younger ones are always your responsibility and i am the responsibility of some of my elder ones like you know that's how the we manage the cycle that's how the whole chain works right so i feel i feel uh, like you know i feel communities can be a way to to find to find better about yourself you know this is what i'll tell you anyone or and everyone should join some communities because because they gives you chance to get awareness which is which is the key to to success i feel if if you and me megna will be more aware in 2012 and would have been sitting with best people of the town we would have been doing more wonders as of now right i feel it's always right people and right places which takes you to the to the mountains to the higher sides so communities has the power to do that you know if you are you you become part of that circle you see a lot of enthusiasts working in the similar di- direction sharing their troubles and stuff you learn a lot through that you learn faster you know rather than learning it alone so my suggestion for any csit or whatever your passion is see uh you will definitely have to it's very difficult we are we are we are a chaotic country okay and we are too many and opportunities are little less i'll not say too less i'll say little less there are opportunities there definitely are opportunities and and the way opportunities are coming up in so broad manner like you know anyone becoming becoming anyone kind of a thing there are definite definite like indefinite possibilities that you can you can be someone some day but my suggestion for you is since till the time you have little bit of energy and 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 youth inside you which gives you more energy basically try to try to explore more professions 
try to explore yourself like you know think about it what if you're not liking something probably to survive you you can do a job but but it's a job right and it's a job and if if you're feeling that this is not fulfilling me then then you have to take you have to start taking one hour out start with one hour and start looking for something else and through communities by joining those online communities on facebook or whatever platform they are at you can start getting to learn about uh, about those professions and you can quickly connect to those people and learn and you can figure out okay um, can i go get into filmmaking you can just go volunteer for someone over weekends so you will have to you will have to put yourself in those situations where you have the learning curve and if you feel okay this is a this is a risk and i can i can take this risk and it will not hurt me then take that risk because because as as of now you have very less to lose and you have much to gain you know maybe you will lose this job and you will think you will not get it i'm sure you will get some some another job but eventually you will never get a, get a chance to try something which you might like so it's definitely risk taking and uh, my personal journey um, has been uh, has been rough and it's been like like leaving things and then figuring out stuff uh, i have been lucky uh, uh, world has been kind to me and uh, like you know <clears throat> i'll say universe has been kind to me and i really found good people around me whom i gave value uh, i treated them really nice and that's why they treated me really well and and probably i got good chances good opportunities but similarly i took a risk many times not just once i took a risk many times and probably that is required and and where i am sitting right now i it just a pile of risk which i have taken i'll not say uh, like you know everybody has their own style of taking risk mine was different and i took it i i picked this domain which was not there uh, not just not just walk into it build a benchmark here build my name build grown this domain on a global level took this on a global level and uh, made people curious like you know what community management is people started asking just by knowing me they started asking what do you do and like you know uh, it's very we are very curious about it so so i guess i i pulled it through but only because i loved it and and i i got to got to know about it af- after five years of my college it took me took me five years of of exploring and uh, getting my ass kicked everywhere and uh, not no no what do you call that uh, no base no 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 constant income no no regular source of energy or positivity but it took me that but i guess i'm at a better place right now and and because i took risk and figure out those things some of what i'm doing right now now i'm able to empower so many people and and to be that that person like you know it will take it will it will ask you to take some risk and uh, they are worth it trust me this is what i'll say to anyone who's listening like you know risk are worth it because we eventually have nothing to lose like you know if you see everybody in the end gets something everybody in the end gets survives get money get food to eat eventually so you will also get something but but if you're not working or trying for something bigger you will not even get that so yeah like that's what i'll say i, I don't know what exactly i should be what the message should be but my message should will be like you know uh, they say like you know do things you love or something like that it might sound cliche but but if you are not liking what you're doing right you will be just gloomy forever and you are choosing that yourself so don't choose that if you have a chance to leave quit something and get into something else probably try doing that uh, you can always come back and and get into the same thing that's what i feel take a sabbatical 3 months i don't know and then try something if if it's if it's difficult for you but yeah that was really inspiring that was really inspiring but i think this is this is where we all lack that we are we are not capable of taking risks we are made that way but yes mm-hmm. very few like you are very fortunate that you were able to do it fortunate yes you become fortunate only after you you show bravery i feel yeah so right. and we are we are definitely built this way we are we have been 
we have been told to take safer steps right we we were never told to take risk we nobody tells us okay we have been told whatever you 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 are getting just take it jo milta hai le lo right that's what we have been told which is very sad and and but but the thing is that's how they are making this society and that's why that's why people live in li- people live in fear like you know what if what if tomorrow but 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 what if like you know my mental peace is not there i for me that is that is my first priority and i'll i'll always choose that so for that i'll take risk i'll for that i'll always uh, shuffle and go for plans which i haven't planned and and take out impromptu things in life so and and my suggestion to anyone listening is also that that you know there is no fun in life if eventually you follow somebody else's path you know if somebody told you this is these are the five things you do and then you can be settled there is no fun in that and if you are here on this on this earth in this universe and you are not planning to have fun then why you are here <laughs> i'm just saying yeah. like you know don't mind but but i really feel that you should you should have fun in life and i guess i guess risk help, helps you to take, have that fun yeah and they help you to learn like you know i don't know you you need to learn a lot yeah right 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 your experiences make you learn absolutely absolutely you require that and 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 sadly uh, our society doesn't give such chance to to go for more experiences they are like confined experiences decided hai itna hi milega college iske baad itna iske baad itna these are like fix so we designed pre designed this is this is a curriculum we are in a societal yeah. curriculum and if you try to break it also society will tell you i'll not give you uh, marks like you know uh, dean will take you out from the class and and stuff like that so eventually that also happens in society everybody will will look at you like you know such a failure such an ass such a idiot but 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 that like you know that is the that is where your role comes that is where that is where your uniqueness comes you know that is where, where you get a chance to show yourself prove yourself and bam like that is something which you have to do that is fun that is fun for me like, you know to 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 take to take a take a step which is not been told which is not been shown and then uh, make it make it work i guess i love doing that yeah beautiful beautiful like uh, <laughs> this has given me so much inspiration that yes this is it it's Hopefully. not just about tomorrow it's about today absolutely thank you for saying that i really believe and i guess i guess uh, people if anyone if one of you are also listening you must have seen what happened in this covid like last one and a half year it was insane you're not even sure that you will survive tomorrow right then why the hell you are you're figuring out tomorrow i'll not figure out tomorrow i'll just figure out today i'll get up today and i do things and when i'm saying these all things look very cliche and it's very difficult there are days when i when i also get stuck with the with the feeling of tomorrow that what i'm doing and all that stuff and i am accepting that but still the only thing which moves me is that why i'm thinking about tomorrow when i can only act today and trust me that has always worked like my board and my everywhere in my house everywhere it's these are like i have these reminders of motivation all my own said quotes or whatever i i love to write so that's why i keep on writing and i keep on posting in my house they just keeps on reminding me like you know that you need to take action and you need to keep doing and i guess i guess that's a fun my suggestion for anyone to grow is firstly be be passionate to do something not just like you know passionate is le nahi hota passionate to live hota hai so be passionate to live you know passionate i'm not saying you will find your passion finding passion is not something that you will get up today and you will get passion but you have to be passionate towards life like you know that that why i'm living should should actually makes you make, um, ask you this question like you know every day like why i'm living so that passion is important and then find a tribe find your people so important if you can find good people eventually you will grow find and my suggestion is keep hustling because that hustle will help you to get better people always if you will not hustle the better people will not even allow you to get in your circle but if you will hustle they will only might allow you because they'll see hey this guy hustles all right so you need to hustle that much hustle that much then get into better people then through that get into better people better people be better people better positivity 
that's how i've seen things all all my all my past uh, clients jobs opportunities talks sessions all just because of people i'm here talking today just because i know megna right i know you and you have trusted you you thought this is the right guy i've always shown value that i am a right person simple right you you, you know Uh, you know we are just we are just college mates but you know probably thousand more people from the college why not them why not me and i am here just because of people i gave my ted talk just because somebody know that there is paras and he can actually inspire and do things i i went to some other place to give give session because this is the reason so i feel i feel people gave you this chance and like you know it becomes life becomes so easy if you have right people everywhere that's that's been my funda of doing things and and i've just cracked it i feel best that's my best hack to to live life everywhere has people everywhere any part of the country i can go right now and probably i'll have someone i'll figure out someone if i'll, I'll not have and i'll make my life easy so um, that's my suggestion we are social animals why the hell you're sitting alone why are you working in silo <laughs> so yeah you are, you are absolutely right this is a life hack like yeah. stick with the right people and have good people around and absolutely. things will be easy absolutely yeah so this this has actually and and nobody teaches us this it yeah in, it's, said, in, it's it's in no course book and we you very clearly mentioned that we have a very set pattern and very we have a very set uh, pre designed way of doing things that okay by 18 12 then college then yeah. post graduation then job then then so, is expected that you get into that vicious circle automatically yeah and it's so difficult to cut out it's so difficult to cut out like like uh, like when you when you told me that you are you are fortunate i am fortunate i really feel because there are so many things there could be someone who might have to take responsibility of the family well i was not that person i was somehow lucky i never my parents never asked me to take the responsibility that's what i'm saying so so you can be anyone like you know who who's listening you can be anyone you might have a responsibility and you cannot i am talking so free probably this but i had my own hustles i had my own problems right so you have to keep looking for that no you 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 cannot be like you cannot just confine yourself and you have to say okay this is i'm today tomorrow i have to be better this is that that should be your your point it should not be like today i'm like this And tomorrow I'll I'll be like this only. If I come back tomorrow and ask you, so so what's up? What happened in last one year? And you'll be like like same, bro. Nothing, nothing much. Don't be like that. You have to be like I just damn nailed it. I'll I learned this much, or I or probably do something. Like you have to be and do something which you which which is making you proud also. I guess that will. It's it's a continuous journey, right? There are days up down. It's not a linear, obviously. it's like what do you call that sigma sine sine wave it's like sine wave right up and down that's that's a normal thing but that's how that's how it is like we are in a game right we everybody keeps talking simulation and everything we are playing we are i'm 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 playing mario in my real life sometimes there is there is a difficult part then i have to like you know take a lot of attempts to to cross it and sometimes it's an easy road but it's a game right and i cannot be just just thinking that i'll play a similar so it will be so boring you have to and and eventually people think that i'll i'll play a safe game and i'll have a easy life no way no way that is not happening life is the the good part of life is that it's it cannot be easy there is there is no easiness in life it will eventually become tough because you are so lethargic you are not putting any effort in your life so eventually it will become tough so it's better that you be better from today is enough it's a very basic simple principle like you know today i'm this tomorrow if you reflect you sit in the morning you reflect did i learn something yesterday or did i contribute to someone or did i help someone did i empower somebody if you have one yes in your answer that means you are doing good just keep going so yeah. what a beautiful message i am just inspired and i'm sure the people who are listening <laughs> must also be very very inspired and I this know. is it this is it this is it the world is going to nowhere i think and this pandemic has shown us one part of it already and yeah. so why tomorrow why not yeah. today yeah, yeah live today and uh, things would be better definitely 100% 10% 
thank you so much thank you so much paras sir and it was really really nice being with you and uh, this this completely gave me a new perspective and i'm sure i'm sure many of the students who are watching today from pune and from uh, haryana must have been inspired by this journey of yours and i would really recommend all of the students to follow this life hack that uh, paras sir has already mentioned so thank you so much paras sir for being with us today on recorum talks yep. and we Perfect, can uh, yeah. yeah thank you so much everyone thanks megna and uh, it's always always good to to share learnings because because that feeling of empowerment which nobody told us in the society you know like helping someone is not something which have, we have been told we have been told to help yourself but helping someone and empowering someone the feeling is unmatched and trust me when you do that no even for one person and and you can for doing it for someone elder is always difficult but doing it for your younger ones is always easy because because they are actually coming to some path and you can always help them so this i i love doing this okay and uh, okay meanwhile one shout out to uh, if you if you guys listening uh, you might want to see uh, like you know i write on instagram i'm not saying go and follow don't follow i don't want followers i'm just saying go and have a look at this page called wisdom baba why i'm saying because if you're young you will eventually connect to the thoughts i share there okay it's called wisdom baba they see wisdom baba and yeah and and i i love to share thoughts and and you will find people like you those who are very young and they also share their thoughts on that page and i keep on sharing those things as well so eventually that will help you to to get up tomorrow and act so if i can contribute even a single minute in your life i'll be more than happy yeah that's about great, it great great i i surely follow the wisdom baba today <laughs> and uh, would definitely get a lot of inspiration from there thank you sure. thank you so much paras sir for being here with us perfect. today perfect perfect and uh, thank you so much once again bye bye thanks megna bye Any everyone time. have a good day so this was megna from recorum talks and i am signing off and it was paras boss today and which he has given us a great 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 motivation so start today and you will see a better tomorrow coming up thank you so much